might be the reason why I ever want to be a star. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our special edition of Magic Moments with the Muslims. Hey, Muslims. Hi. Um, it's been a while since yes. we've come together and done one with the two of us together. Yep. Um, you've been so busy interviewing other people, so it, it, it kind of, it's kind of weird. Weird. Yeah. What, being back here? Um, the room is a different setup, okay. uh, especially for those who haven't been here in quite a while, so it's kind of different. So I was trying to get my focal points, yeah. um, camera in front of me. You can see your visuals off to the side. You see yourself. So I was trying to not be cock eyed. <laughs> trying to look at yourself. Right? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. So you just got to make sure that everything's in, in time. Yeah, that's, that's like, it's like the mirror. The monitor is like the mirror. It is. But again, if I focus, like, here's my focus. Welcome, guys. Um, today is Sunday. Yes. It's the last day of June. Yes. Meaning that half the year is gone. Hopefully, it's been. A productive year for each and every one of you that have been listening um, I pray the Lord's been good to you yes um, that you've experienced some growth or maybe you've checked some things off of your list for uh, 2019 and if not you've got six months to go yep. Lord willing yep. it's cancer season uh, oh and it's cancer season yeah. mr. July yes. next <laughs> he'll be 40 soon I'm like in awe of that He's not um, overzealous as I assumed he would be, or as others have been when they've reached their milestone. But to him, he says it's just another day, just another birthday. Yeah. Anyhow, um, we're going to get into our topic of discussion today. So again, I just wanted to welcome everyone um, back into the swing of things. Um, we were talking this morning and we decided to um, speak on after the honeymoon. What was your, what was, what's the, your when actual... The, when the honeymoon phase... Is over. Is over. When the honeymoon phase is over... Yes. What do you do? Yes, and I, I was thinking, um, <clears throat> first I want to say that, I don't know what people consider professionals nowadays. I'm sorry, but, this um, is the bishop. But uh, <laughs> I want to first say that if, it, if, what, if what you got going for you is working, and let that work. This is just our opinion um, from things that we go through, we've been through, the phase. Um, we done sat with various people, we done talked with various people, we done had millions of different people's inputs, marriage, things like that, relationships. Um, so I can sit and say qualified to sit before and... You're qualified. Yeah, because people trust in me and they gave me that. I say I'm qualified, um, yeah. but I'm still open and willing to receive. I, I feel experience qualifies people. Experience qualifies people. That's my thing. That's a good. It's a good point. You know, that to me, experience qualifies someone. If you, if I've been to that side of the mountain, I've been over there. I'm qualified. I have that experience. I've been there. I agree. Um, so I feel that's what uh, qualifies you. Um, like I said. Hey, if but not to not to negate that we are still open and willing to receive. Yeah. Uh, Feedback, opinions. Yeah, yeah we, we definitely, uh, we grow from those that we're talking to. We they do. Know it. So, um, we do. I, I say there's things that have to be in place um, for no, noticing when the honeymoon phase is over. Um, or I mean, how, over how do you, coming. So let's ask that question. How, how do you know that the honeymoon phase, what is the honeymoon phase? The honeymoon phase is... When you're all head over heels. Yeah, you're dating. Like when you're first. Places, uh, but even in marriage though, because yeah, there's mean, a honeymoon phase. Right. Or to, to be considered a honeymoon phase right after your, your wedding. Yeah. No? No, no. I don't think it is for the people that... Uh, Have been, been in long, been, long yeah, relationships. Yeah, been together been together before the marriage um so i feel that you have to and that's where i get to that point of creating those moments mm -hmm. you have to know what those moments are um you got to know uh, what, how important they are um you got to learn how yeah, to make those moments you have to make those moments um both people have to be res uh, receptive of noticing that you're not buying in or giving in what you should be to keep that moment when you feel that that moment is there and then you feel that it is dying you have to know how to bring that back 
I wanted to point out that um, those moments are inevitable. Everyone will experience them. Yeah. So it's, it's learning to... At some point in your relationship. And that, that comes a lot with how you feel about yourself and how you feel in your relationship, how your mind is and things that you got going on around you. Your mindset. To be able, yeah, to be able to, I think... A lot of what we go through in life, we bring into our house. And don't get me wrong, stuff that goes on will affect you inside, but you have to learn. I think the people, yes, the people that master marriage learns how to separate the two. Um, that's that's part of feeling some way and doing something when you just don't feel like it. You know what I mean? Even if you don't feel like it, and it ain't faking it. Like, something can be wrong, but it can be nothing that you done. You know what I mean? Something that I'm going through. So I have to be able to compartmentalize that, put that here and say I have to focus and I can't let that, Set that come, yeah, and, and come in and mess up the mood. Because you don't want stuff going bad over here and then this ain't good. You want to be able to relax on this side. So <laughs> I feel that it is crucial to paying attention to the opposite person. Do you think that everyone's uh, honeymoon phase is different, different periods, yeah, yeah, different periods yeah. of time? Yeah, some people's honeymoon phase only lasts if it's about them. I think, like... It, it elaborate. Elaborate. When you say it's about them, what do you mean? If they feel, like, let's just say, if you feel that you might feel some type of way, and or whatever, something might be going on in your life, and you take that and it affects your, your spouse. Like, it, it affects the, the mojo. That's when it's <laughs> that you don't pay attention to that it's not just about you, it's for y'all. It's, it's, it's a together thing. So I think um, all types of things come into play. I mean, we can, man, who knows? Some people, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because I can go all types of directions off of that, but I'm. I'm come on, spit them. Um, you got time. You got plenty of time. Yeah. I, um, some people be in honeymoon phases just to get what they want. Some people be in honeymoon phases long enough in relationships or marriage uh, to where, like, and it, and it ends. You see what I'm saying? It, it's somewhere down the line on both parties and under whatever situation it, there was, no one was stronger than the other person to say, I'm going to fight to make this work. So you're speaking in terms of um, the honeymoon phase actually being the end, the end all of a yeah, relationship? Yeah. It, it, that's once, not how it's supposed to work. Yeah, no, but once that fades away, some people will come to the like I I was saying like I was saying about. So you have to learn how to renew renew your love though. Yeah. Not not to say that you'll always be in a honeymoon phase, but you have to fall back and. So how do you do that? Um, creating. I so, don't know. So you, right, you so to, right. That's why I, I mean, said. I can I can explain for us, but right. Um, so do you have to find tools? You have to find things. There, there's. There's things that need to be done. That's what. That's why when people be trying to understand, what do they mean by work? That's the type. That's that's work right there. Oh, there's work. That's work. There's, there'd be assignments that you have to learn in order to complete. There, there's daily assignments in relationships. And you should always be considered a student um, at all points of your relationship. So even in small talk or in uh, conversation, um, even it doesn't even have to be verbal, but you should be able to. Learn your mate to know what works for them and what and what doesn't. What pleases them and what may aggravate them. Or when they're at a low uh, versus uh, a high. That's why I think it's important when the when the going is good to discuss things. Really? Yeah. That doesn't tamper. You don't think it taints or disturbs the the uh, let me say disturbs the peace. Uh, disturbs the moment. It's like the finding the right time to say yeah, something. I think that, I think that it, it, everything is in that flow, the conversation comes off different. I, I agree. You see what I'm saying? I agree. And I, I feel, um, I agree with that because I feel like someone is willing to receive yeah, or accept. Yeah, because you feel in love, you feel in... It's not a tactical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you could be on a date, you could be somewhere and not just be part of the discussion. Like yeah. you, you see what I'm saying? So it doesn't... Now don't get me wrong, I, I, I can imagine it turns differently with certain people. Um, Depending how they feel, or if you bring up them type of uh, talks and it just turns, but I think you should know. Wait, let's cut it off. Then it's not going away, and that's why I always say it's, it's you got to be smart. 
we have to pay attention. We have to feel vibes. We have to you do know that you know. But it, that's all in learning. Yeah. Then learning your mate. And it's not easy. It at all. Because you can shut down wrong. <laughs> And they just run the whole night like, damn, where are they going? They going home. <laughs> they going, going. Hey, what happened? You ain't even hear about it. You can sit there like, what happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? They on their way home. Like, I don't even want somebody to say something. So like, it'd be that simple. Um, but I think it's important of knowing and paying attention if you want it to be what you, what you need it to be. So we want to basically want to get to um, discussing, or this topic of discussion came up because uh, we encounter so many people who end up being in um, outside of relationships, mm -hmm. um, and we want to get them into healthy relationships. Not saying that that's everyone's goal, but um, at some point in life, I feel like people should be willing for at a at a point where they're wanting to settle down and be in a healthy relationship, whether you were married and divorced or um, in a partnership and then it just went south, south. Um, but learning how to develop healthy relationships with people um, and not always pointing the finger or pointing the blame at, at others. Um, at some point we just say that you have to be accountable um, and own your mess. Yeah. Own your mess. Yeah. That was, that was big. We talked about that. Yeah. Owning your mess and, and let's just say um, being in and out of relationships or in and out of relationships you can't say um, that it was always someone's, someone else's fault. So at what point? Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm saying. On your mess. At what point do you be accountable for you? Right, and we 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 cover we cover. I want I do want to say that we cover so many things that I feel that you can't knock it or look at it like oh it's them if it's going to help me. <laughs> Like you want to take two, especially if this is something that you're looking for. It is. You know, something that you you want to make it work because you have, like, you know, I, there's people that go, oh, I was married for this long, but it's a different type of marriage. You see what I'm saying? It's a different type of growth to where even if a person has been married once, twice, or three times, you should be the master at knowing what so? not to do. Yeah. You think so? You keep being divorced. So what are you doing? I think a person like that, you have to be doing something different to where with all of you, if that's something that you want and you keep getting into them, you got to be like, yo, this one has to be my best one. I feel like it's a form of narcissism for people who are never at fault. You understand what I mean? Yeah, but but they'll be the first ones to say, it just you know, it's and they'll still be in relationships. I think they be in there and they sprinkle that dust on people as they, <laughs> as they date them and be with them. They, they, leave, a, they leave a part of the, the ill will with them. People take attachments from people and, and be carrying them around and be carrying around. Carrying them into your next relationship. Yeah, like, no, you, yeah, it's... I, I, I really feel at some point as um, human, as adults, especially because we are all approaching or are already yeah. into our 40s, um, like... You gotta want it through the good and through the through the bad. Yeah, and, and stop saying it ain't for you. It's a conscious decision that you have to make. Women well, be like, that's not for me. <laughs> that's not for me. You don't want to be by yourself with them cats and that dog. Uh -huh. Everyone wants to be with someone and be happy. Well, let's say this because I know a few people who are in relationships with. They're in oh, monogamous I relationships. Say, oh, I was about to say with the animal. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> we'll be sick. Right. No. But they're in uh, monogamous relationships, and they've been in them for years, but it's not their ultimate goal to be married. They're just happy with the way things are. Yeah. Think their husband cheats? They're not I mean, married. They're not married, so you think he cheats? Not necessarily. That, that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. It, it don't be the case. Because, again, they could be in a monogamous relationship. I, I honestly think it's not the case. But I, I, I mean, again, I'm open and willing to receive think, someone's explanation as to why they feel that marriage I'm allowed to have, I'm just, I like to have a different opinion. I think guys like that, they don't, if they have a woman long term like that, I think they can cheat. Me. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> That's a misconception. That might be a misconception. Yeah, but then why wouldn't you want to make her your wife? 
fight because I'm gonna be governed by the rules. Yeah, but I'm again, so by the rules of that book. But let's just say that girl, I don't need to be married. I don't need to but let's just say, what if it's the woman though? Because I know women who like are just cheats. No, babe, right. we're not talking about cheating. Okay. We're just saying that the woman is okay with being in that type of relationship and not wanting to cross the the marriage. You think that's because you talked her into it after a while? You groomed her over the years. Um, to a certain extent, on. I do. I think women wake up with that dream of having a beautiful dress and just having a wedding and, and being showered with gifts and loves and I, all this I stuff. I thought that all girls I, did, but... I think they do. I think it just times change now. I, I believe we're dealing with a different generation. We're just, like times, times yeah. have definitely changed. And I think women are all um, into like women in empowerment. Right. And, and some are just comfortable sister, but that they know he cheats, but he loves me. But again, it just could be a misconception that cheating, <laughs> <laughs> cheating is on the table. Uh, they just may be comfortable. Um, maybe they have issues with commitment. But I feel like for people who say like... Um, Wait, so they have issues with commitment, but they together? No, I, not putting that in anyone's mouth. Uh, but you hear that often where people say that they have issues with commitment. That's why they haven't made right, them. So, so. But I feel like if you're in the relationship, like you're already committed. Yeah, you are. I think that just because they be cheap. Uh, to each his own. That's what I say to each, to each his own. Yeah, like, yeah. To each his own. But again, our mission um, with us is yeah. just to promote healthy relationships. We are. We um, them too for those who those who know us, um, the real us, um, they know that we get into it. I, yeah. I think I think you mentioned some people may be under the impression like we don't even argue yeah right i'll be trying to tell them they be sitting there be like man <laughs> when guys be sitting there trying to tell me bro you don't understand what i'm going to be like what you know who my wife <laughs> is it's just that i'm strong <laughs> i'm strong i don't like being defeated by things so i i, I got to will this thing through um, it's a conscious decision that you make to have to um make it work yeah because i not try to means. i bring up the uh, i try to enhance the the beautiful qualities. I, I always give my brothers and my my brothers, not a re blood relative, but my brothers. I call mm -hmm. them my brothers. People that come to me of anybody. You know, Encourage them. So, like, so when they come and they, and they say, like, I'm like, listen, man, you have to. It's uh, it's something that you you will you will go through. Um, ain't no one safe from not going through that or having to deal That's with the reverse it. of who how someone is. Um, it's all about finding what works for you to learn what it is that you can do to be better or to do whatever you need to do so that your relationship is um, successful but you have to want it and that's where the work comes in man I think it's a beautiful thing if you can put in the work and, and get on that same page not saying that you're not going to have Chips. have little yeah little mm -hmm. things but you got to make the decision to even learn. major yeah. I'm not even going to say li call them little because sometimes um, there are major blow ups um, yeah, 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 that they, we engage in yeah, they, um, yeah, and see, and I think even with them being like that, I think it, was, it, it balances out because, and it's bad sometimes, but it works good because I don't hold on to them. I, I might mill over something that might be a little bit precedent, but let me see when you drop that word. <laughs> Bam. Yes. Um, but uh, I, I address it and I let it go. I'm grateful you're you know, able to reflect. I, I reflect yeah, over it. I just and then I'd be like, you know what? I can't do make that mistake again because that it, it, it brought us there. So I look at it that I try not to um, engage or handle things a certain type of way, depending on. So I learn from each one. I, I learn from our encounters of the. So do you feel that that's what's not being done? Um. Because again, think, arguments, blow yeah, ups, I, I, I uh, think, I think it's, are inevitable. Right. I think that depends on the person because if you if you if you're not if you're not going to look in the mirror to hold fault to if it might be you or if it's something that you've done or what can I do better so that we don't have these situations, not just, oh, how come she's doing that yeah. or how come he's doing that or how come it ain't no what what can you do to make it better? Are you making it easy? What are you are you making it any better? You see what I'm saying? So you gotta take a a reflection because nowadays I'm be serious. You gotta come in watching because some people like to argue. They do. Yo, we we got, we jump into relationships with people that like to argue. People that are depressed. People will put on that mask. They will put on a whole mask to meet somebody, knowing damn well you shouldn't even be talking to nobody. You then the layers start you, to unfold. You is too. Like, why would you bring somebody into that? 
How fair is that? Like, if you know that you suffer from things that you have not dealt with, like, as so an adult. I, I ride hard for uh, mental mental illnesses yeah, and post-traumatic stress. So, right. So, <laughs> so, at the end of the day, why are you engaging? Why? Especially with no ownership. Because if you come yeah. into them type of relationship and you have no ownership of things that might have happened to you and that, you, you know what, this is just this. How do you figure that you're going to make someone happy when you're barely happy when you're by yourself? I honestly think it happens more than um, more than often, though. Because that sex. we enter into mm, sex, yeah. sex, sex. I think that may be a big, a big, it's a big, a big thing. reason. But I also feel like um, it's just companionship and people being people being lonely and stuff. But then again, like speaking in terms of me in PTSD or traumatic experiences. Stuff could be under the table or under the rug, and then it won't be until down the road and something triggers it, and then it com it surfaces and and it comes about. So it may not be something that is like up and up see, in the and, air, and that's so. why I love because and she's telling you, <laughs> she's telling you right here. You hear what she's telling you? I was like, uh, okay. But that's for everybody. Yes, though. but that's right. So I'm just. I'm just transparent. I'm going to say that I'm transparent yes, in, you, you in buddy, speaking yes, of traumatic are, experiences and, and being traumatized listen, about stuff. Listen, you are. I promise you, you are. <laughs> now, with you saying that, on my side of the fence, I'm like, okay. You're supposed to love me unconditionally. I, yeah, I am, but I'm like, okay. In well, my mess. Well, I, where was this? Somebody should have put it this on been. the warning label of the... But it wasn't meant so, for me to know, because then I had to grow in into it. And, and some stuff gets suppressed, though. Yeah, man. And and people who have have experienced trauma can attest to that. Some stuff is suppressed in, um, maybe in your subconscious. Like you purposely bury those things, but mm -hmm. again, it's not until something triggers it. And I've spoken to yes. a therapist, and I've said, I can smell a thing, and it'll take me back into. The middle of a, a moment when I experience something traumatic. Right. So, yes. As humans, though, I, know. I feel like we all have layers of things, <laughs> and it's not until they get exposed and then they're front and center, like they they surface, and then now it's at the midst of um, like a, a argument or a blow up or or what have you. You'd be like, this thing was at. 80? Listen, love conquers all. Oh, at 80% and love, started listen. up 20. <laughs> what is wrong? Love conquers all. I'm like, yo, what is wrong? <laughs> yo. Yeah, but I had to, have to make a, and right. make a conscious decision to yes. know to love me through yes, my that, mess. Right, because I have to say, I had to search through it and say, okay. I'm grateful for it because yes, other I mean, someone else may have yes, thrown in the yes, towel yes. and just said, "No, I don't want yes. to so do like, this." So. so I tell brothers, like brothers, just be understanding. Yes, if you love her, be understanding. Or if she loves you and you, because men, men, men go through their thing. They yeah. get, they do what they do. <laughs> um, I like to I I like to own mine and put it out, and, and I might act like I'm cocky about. The situation but I know I have to fix it I'd rather fix things to make life comfortable um, and when with doing that I don't like the confrontation I need things to run smooth I need to be so I feel well, I'm, that telling you, I'm great I'm grateful for you mm -hmm. being understanding of of it all I am yeah. because um so again this being the topic of discussion um it had it been anyone else maybe they would have quickly thrown in the towel and not have been willing to um, sacrifice it all and say like I'm willing to love her through her mess. Yeah, or or be rumbling. Yeah, you used to want to rumble. I'm like, oh, <laughs> she's ready to fight. I'm like, she's the fighter. They fight all of them fight. I'm like, I don't we fight. do not. Y'all be rumbling. We y'all don't y'all ain't letting no man. I'm like, I'm uh. And some people listen. just don't be like, listen. Some people be into. I'm like, no, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Just don't put your hands on me. <laughs> I would not. Don't hit me. I, listen, I advocate hard for domestic violence. I would not. If I had to, now that's another story. Yeah, that we, 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 we could. Like, uh, no, uh, we we haven't been to um, those extremes. We might have been close, but we haven't been to those extremes. But again, I'm grateful for you loving me through my mess. But that's the mission for today. 
yes. is being in a relationship. And again, once you pass that honeymoon phase, you have to make a conscious effort, a conscious decision daily to be accepting, to be forgiving, to be understanding, and not always just point the finger or throw back yes. on me what has surfaced and have been yeah. been given to you. So I'm grateful for it. I had to learn that because I, I will I will do that. So I had to learn, it, and I just learned that it's not I, it's nothing I've done so to say. Um, not necessarily. Not necessarily. You're just know, you're just here. Yeah, I know when I do what I do. You're I, just here. It, it's not that bad. So. <laughs> I can be annoying. Yeah. A bit? Yeah. And you're you're so hard to love. Why? Um A because you are you're stubborn. Um and I feel like everybody that engages with you probably knows how stubborn you are. Um, you mean well and you try to um you're like bud. <laughs> like Sebi. Or you try to um, smooth people over. Uh, awesome. Yes, you do, babe. You do. do. <laughs> Look at you. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, you try to. Uh, uh You try to butter people up. You're very um, convincing. I won't say manipulative because that would be in a negative sense, but you're very convincing, very charming. I'll say that. I can be manipulative when I need it. I don't. I, I don't want to. I would. I wouldn't use manipulative in uh, um, as a word to describe you. Okay. And I'm grateful that I don't have to. I've been in uh, situations where. Oh yeah, I would that man. That's people. Not me. So yeah, yeah you're. I wouldn't use manipulative in a in yeah. a sense to describe that's, you. I think that's, yeah, that is. Really yeah. Good. <laughs> I thought I was thinking of con artists or something. No. Oh, you're a con artist. Okay, yeah. yeah. With charm. I could be. With charm. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Good but you're a hard, uh, uh, and, and again, I don't say that in a negative oh, sense, yeah, but I'm, I'm, yeah. you're a hard person to love, but I'm, I'm grateful because um, it makes you strong. It makes me grow. Now, the only thing I would say is I want you to make me grow. I want to experience this and me have growth on my own, well, not because you want it to. I, not, that's I only, not, only do that on situations that pertain to me. No, is it, to have you noticed that it doesn't work? In your favor or do you feel that it works in your favor i think it does in the long run you do yeah in the long run yeah there might be resentment behind it though it's not received I think, as it should be i think situations will come where in life hopefully not but that you handle the adversity i'm getting here no, yeah. i'm getting here i think that is needed for you the funny thing is i'm going to say this i always thought that i was a strong person i feel i am i am a strong person i'll say that um but there have been some situations where I really have had to put my big girl panties on and, and pull my boots up by the strap. So, but I'll, when you think you're strong and then you're um, forced to deal with like a situation, um, it'll actually show you how strong you are. But I'm grateful for you. Um, so again, we just want to get people to the healthy point. Um, healthy relationship is the goal. Yes. Especially because time is ticking. Life is supposed to be lived. Um, and it's supposed to be lived on purpose. So we want people to just walk in their purpose and to be happy. To have positive and healthy relationships. Um, getting past knowing that it is not going to be sunshine and rainbows every day. Yes, and I do want and to knowing say how to deal with that. That no one is perfect. You're not going to find... The perfect person. You never will. Um, everyone has something with them. Years of life have been served behind a person, so everyone has something with them. No one is going to come tailor made to how you think they should be. And you can't change um, people either. Yes, I had learned that. One of my clients said, You just going to have to do what you do. <laughs> and you can't change her. You can't. You got to focus on. I've learned that the heart. I won't even say the hard way, but I, I learned yeah, that. I know that. Yeah, you'd be like, yeah, sometimes you have to you have change to, you. You have to, it has to be reassuring, you know what I mean? And, you know, and if it looks like that person is not doing, man, you have to count your losses. Like, and, and don't drag them because you don't have, time is, time is, is precious. It's ticking. I won't say winding yeah, up yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like, 
<laughs> it's, it's precious though. You want to use all your moments. You want to have them happy moments. You want to yes. create memories. You want to, you, you have to, in your relationship, be bigger than your surroundings. Yeah. It has to be, it has to be a vibe. It has to be uh, a love, a continuous focus. Your, your, the way you live, it has to be on the, in order to. I think you have to set self aside. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. It's setting yourself aside because realizing that it's about you, but it's not all about you. Right. Like you really have to, and it's not saying that you come last, but there is someone else that is of the same importance as as yourself, or at least that you should be treating treating that right. Way. Right, and it just like it should go both ways. Because if I'm putting, if I'm if I'm making it about you and you making it about me, it's balanced. That's it's not unbalanced. That's balanced. Now and I, I can't set I can't set the terms on how you do that. Nope, you have I to have learn to that accept, yourself. Yeah, I can't accept. I, I can't set the terms for for that. You see, I can't tell yeah. you. Oh, you need to do this. And no, I feel like that. That no. Nah, it shouldn't have to be yeah, said. It should be. You should do. Go, it goes without yeah. saying. Yeah, I focus on what I need to do, and you get the same in return. I think it balances. Let me ask this: um, How do you feel about? Not how do you feel about people because um, the intention is never um, meant to be judgmental of anyone in their circumstance or their situation, but how do you feel about people who can't seem to find um, their happy place or to be in a um, healthy relationship? It comes to a point of age to where you have to look and say, for one, you're tired. Um, Tired, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, tired in the sense of tired of being in these type of relationships. How how come I keep ending up in these relationships? And is it me? Or is this the people I'm dating? Or is this the reflection of the people that I keep ending up with because I'm just like it's them? true because it is a reflection of yes. yourself of who you are dating. Yes. It is. Yes. So it you is. can't keep saying that okay. you're picking this. You're you're making them. You're doing what you do. So. How come you keep running into these the same type of people? Type of people? <laughs> That's the vibration. That's the law of attraction. You are what you attract. Why? Um, why though would someone not automatically consider them um, a part of the? It did. You might not. We didn't say that because there's there's broken people that get good people that they end up making just as broken as they are. Yeah, wow. It happens. Wow. It happens and. Some and a lot of women be, but that's what I'm saying. At what point do you go? A like lot of women find broken men because they want some type of, and then you get in there with him, and then he just tear you all oh, everything you got up, but you know you can't fix him. I feel like so, and I'll, I'll address that. Um, coming from a woman's point of view, I feel that us as women sometimes feel that we can fix a broken man when we are sometimes broken ourselves. Yes, I can I, I could take a woman being broken, but a man I'd be like, man, get your ass like <laughs> like <laughs> man, do. Like no, like no. Yeah, but why? Why would no. it be why would it be a double standard? No, because this just this is this is this is a, from a man like we can't oh like Oh my god. It is um how many women out there have dealt with a broken man and have be on and be honest with yourself though. No, but I'm I think I met you in your brokenness. Yes. Brokenness. So maybe that that's part of our love story. Is and I'd be like, I never want to be like that again. <laughs> no, I. I it, it took. It how took. many? So my question: How many women? So being honest, women. How many women have um, entered into a relationship with a broken man with the intent to fix him, and you can't fix nobody? You know what I think. Um, and I'm not sure if I believe this, but I do think that that makes sense. Um, if someone is broken for the moment, and they might just be going through something, and the right woman comes along and she speaks life without the judgmental that mm. she sees. Now, don't get me wrong, men, you can you will lift a man up, and then next you know he get on his feet, and next you know he's oh, he with somebody bounce. else. Yeah, that it has been known to happen. Yes, that happens. Um, <laughs> it does. So you could say, okay, well, and know the power that you have. You can be down that that happened, or you can know, okay, this is me. That does not affect who I am 
he's a jerk, okay, he's on his feet, but you know that you have that power that it's not, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. it's so not to you. say it's not you, because you can know that you pour out, but you can't let pouring into people yeah, well, empty yourself. Yes. Drain you. Yes, yes. I will. So you have to know, okay, I do have this power, so I got to step back and I have to move a certain way. And there's things that you can do with, if you have that power. And I feel that you'll be able to have self-control over you. I feel, where that you would be able to talk. <clears throat> I feel like people have way too many voids that they're trying to uh, fill. Too much emptiness um, in them. So maybe the relation, someone's seeking a relationship to help fill those voids. And of course, that's only going to lead to... I won't say always, but it's going to roll downhill, trickle downhill. Yeah. Where there are a lot of people who enter into relationships knowing that they're not fully healed right. or whole from things. Um, so to only bring in that baggage and then, of course, um, it enters into the relationship and then it causes, um, is detrimental. Uh, um, I know y'all be tired of this. <laughs> I know y'all be tired. I think they're tired of us. I know. I know it. <laughs> you think they're tired of us? It ain't that. Because I'm not perfect. But I fight. I fight. I fight. I'm grateful that you do. I fight because I'm gonna admit to something too. I can't be down. I don't want to be. I do not want to be down. I will sit with myself until I find something to be this <laughs> here. I will think about the Maserati. I'm a old, 2024. I'm going I'm gonna find me some things to pull myself. Listen, no, man. People cannot have that. Um, people need to know how to shut down and turn off. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you start to feel like it's that, I, 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 you, people be on a. You done read a post, now you got yeah. that on top of it. Yeah. Then you got somebody that you might think's talking to you. And, oh, hold on. who? And then they just get the... the influence of social media. So it, it's like, you have to know when you feel that way, you have to be able to shut down and reflect. I'm going to Yeah, you have to. Um, I don't... I, I refuse. I refuse. And, and with that being the standard, the standard, I even tell my kids, man, is it that serious? <laughs> when they answer me no. Yes, it is. When they answer me no. <laughs> I say, it well, is. be quiet. <laughs> if it's not that serious, then why are you having the emotion that you're having about it if it's not that serious? If you can sit there and look up at me and say, no, it's not, then why? It might be. No. <laughs> that's why you, I ask you and they answer me, no, it's not that serious. Then why are you acting like that? Because that's, that's, that's became the acceptable of just taking things and just letting it control you. Man, listen, man. People will wrap their emotions, and I ain't going to get off track or nothing like that. Not too far. But um, people will set their sights on things in the near future and don't live in the moment to where you got people that have set their sights on heaven and don't live. Hmm. Miss the That's whole saying, joys life of life be because you set your sights so that you bypass everything here and problems that you're supposed to, and nah, like it's it's adjusting, going through it, growing from it, living your life, being happy and doing the right things and, 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 and being happy, like I don't care who you with. Like, Do you feel like the, it, an epiphany moment is necessary? To, Does everyone have them? I don't think so. Well, um, can somebody be so caught up in their mess that they don't have them? They miss it. Yeah. I would say so. Did, just, do you feel that you had an epiphany moment oh, in, in our relationship? And I always say that um, only because this is addressing like the post that you had put up the other day when you were explaining how um, we had gotten to a point in our own relationship where. Like you said, I was waving divorce papers around like a pom pom. That is not true. I might have been exaggerating. You were exaggerating. Um, but to be honest, though, there was a point in our relationship where divorce papers were on the table. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just a matter of. You signed signatures. them already. <laughs> she signed them. Desperate times call for desperate measures. She signed them. Um, so, do you feel like that was your epiphany moment? Yeah, I went through a whole lot. I, I wasn't, you know, it was crazy. Um, I was not upset. 
I didn't feel something. I didn't feel scared. Um, I didn't feel, oh, my son needs, I don't know who she thinks she is. <laughs> that wasn't the feeling. Um, <laughs> that wasn't the feeling that I had. I felt, I felt that what I've been through and where I arrived at. I that hate that you have that feeling. Where I've been through and where I arrived at, God has the best for me. I made, it, I made it this far. Um, <laughs> so I knew that nothing else that I would do is not going to work. I'd been, I'd seen and felt the vibes, vision, seeing where I need to be. So I know that that part of it is not in there. I have, I have the power to control the outcomes of my life. Why does it? Okay. You might think it's magic. I just think it's confident that I have. Because did I know what to do? Yes. Did I fix it? Yes. Are we who we are now? Yes. Because what I believed to know was so. I did put in the I put in the work. Um, I learned a few things. I applied them. I made it a part of me, and here you are. And you are better. I am better. And it brought me to a stage of understanding because I knew, like, it wasn't that serious. <laughs> it was serious to you, but it wasn't that serious. Like, so I knew I had to step back and say, is this all about me? So I want everyone to have that um no, I wouldn't say the same epiphany, but to have an epiphany where it's like a wake up moment where um, you realize that what you have is worth fighting for. Yeah, because outside of outside of uh, out of your uh, disorders, you treat me very well. <laughs> outside of my disorder, <laughs> you, you love me very well. So outside of that, man, I say you know what? That I do it. <laughs> and I might add to something to it. Under attack. <laughs> I don't mind the sweaters. But outside of that, you know, I say, I, I see what we have here. Um, it is part of the destiny of what it is that I'm doing. You know, um, I I'm grateful you fight, though. I, I'll say that. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful. I um, mm -hmm. love you in, even more um, mm -hmm. when I know that. It's not just me fighting in our relationship for it to be what it is, um, right. but that you put forth um, the same effort um, when things aren't where they should be. Yeah. Um, and I say that only because we've seen so many uh, relationships uh, disseminate, um, so many separations, um, even some people who have been married um, less than we have, yeah. how they separate or part and go their own separate ways. Right. That breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart. Yeah. I just be like I just if I, I could just I, be I, a fly like, on the wall yeah, and I just, mean, I just be like that same stuff you running from there is gonna happen over there until you fix it. Until you change but you on both back. parts. Yeah. So what you thinking you're gonna run and find somewhere else. And even if you go somewhere else and you meet somebody else that just broke up with somebody and y'all both broke up and y'all feeling broke with me. That is that. Broke what, a beat. It, it's coming. What what was over there and how you was, she gonna see what she didn't like, he gonna see what he didn't like in you. And it or it might be something new with them. So every time you run into little situations it's of what same. you don't like, what you gonna run. So that's gonna become the outcome. I feel that a lot of people make the I, I think all things is attainable. Or things for certain people. I think everything is for everyone if you want it to be. You can be whatever you want. If you believe that that is you. And, <laughs> you know. Hey. What yeah. advice would you give to people um, to get through the difficulties in their uh, relationships to get to a point where... First I'll say, shut up. Learn to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. The spirit of the hush. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. You can't hear what's wrong if you're still talking. And then they can't even take in what you're saying because 
They, they the only hearing. Wah, 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 Ain't Not listening to listen. receive, yes. but listening to yes. provide a response. Yes. So it's like, it's like sometimes both people have to be quiet. You know what I mean? And, and think and, and create that energy to where something comes and you be like, you know what? Yeah, it just comes. It, you just know because that's what you want. But sometimes you have to think and just, I don't know, man. And, and, and especially if it's any disorders, any uh, mental disorders. Say disorders one more time. Say it one more time. Get that checked out. Say it one more we time. All that stuff that we come from when, when we was coming up in this world. It's, and if it makes, it, it makes you disorderly, <laughs> you act out with disorderly <laughs> conduct. Stop. And being defiant in your relationship. Stop. 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 So I'm going to need you to check your disorders. Listen, I don't care. Listen, if you Everybody gotta go, you gotta go into the this. church and cry and give it to God. Listen, somebody you don't have to go in there. Everybody's not spiritual. Say, you don't gotta be spiritual. You better go get let it out. You walk around with all that, and you better do something. I mean, I in terms of when you say to the church, everyone may not be. Right, y'all. Well, y'all don't need your living room. <laughs> okay. Turn on some gospel. You gotta get in the mood. That's you gotta again. The, you gotta set the stage. All right. Well, turn on some ocean sounds. I don't care. <laughs> Wave a crystal in front of your face. Play some in incense. Jesus. Try to get it. better. Whatever works uh -huh. for you. Whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. <laughs> and like some people use that kind of my. So what is you listening to then? Because if it's not fixing, if it's not adding, so if it's calming music, you want to use the music that speaks to the spirit, like. So you want to get in that group because you, yeah, basically, yeah. So you want to find, but you have to want to get better. You can't look at the other person and saying, "Okay, well, what are you changing?" Or you already lost right now because you sitting there with your what are you changing? Lord Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you to change that. I'm gonna change this and yeah, change that, absolutely. and then it can, and then it turns to you do. Man. It's a it's a lot that goes into do. um self reflection. It does. So self reflection is necessary. I just want to help. Y'all ain't giving me no money. Self-reflection is necessary. I want, help. I want to see you happy. I want people to experience the happiness. I do. You know what I mean? I really do. It, not even just the happiness, but I feel like the, the love. It's not even about sex for it's, me. It's for you. But for people that like happy sex. Okay, well, we'll say happy. Better. Say it again. Makes your days better. I just want everyone to have... Um, that that peace, <laughs> peace and understanding. And iron out your disorders, man. Your disorders. I'm punching you. That's acting disorderly. I, I, I do love. I, I love. I love that, and that's what I love. I I I. You don't know how big that is to me. What is that? That you would. That you openly know that it's your disorders that. <laughs> I hurt you. Listen, I do know. I, I, I have no problem grow. or no shame. It helps me grow. Saying that I have PTSD. Yes, I do. Fabric softener. You done sniffed the fabric softener. Now you acting crazy. <laughs> stop, stop breathing. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, it's cool, man. I, I learned that. I'm just like. I just want everyone to experience. Love unconditionally. That's what I. That's to sum it up. That's what I just want everyone to experience love, un, the unconditional love, knowing that someone is willing to fight for. Yeah, you your love. Yeah, why, yo, why disturb? Listen, listen. All right, how many of us really don't know that we be a little shout out? People know it. Hey, you a lot shout out. That's why I, I you never took my mind disorders. I, I, I never. I know. <laughs> Me grow. I know. So I talk to <laughs> I talk to my God daily. Thank God. We thank God for Jesus. Because I don't be wanting to growl. <laughs> I'll be ready. So we I, know. Uh, you know, and I got things in place. I got my weights. I got my books. To keep you centered. Yep. Thank God for Jesus. You know, I can cut out TV. And I know. I, I hate it. I just, you know what I mean? I'm accepting of it, though, because if it keeps you centered yeah. and it keeps you at peace, then I'm grateful for the it. Dalai Lama. Yeah. You have become Jesus. Yeah, I'm cool. I'll be like, I can't even talk drama with him. Like, I'll be serious. Like, oh, that's that's fake. It's not gonna happen. Oh it's my not, God. You know, I'll be watching movie. I can't. Like she said uh, last night, it's funny <laughs> before we got here. So she said we was watching Intruder, right? 
So he judged the whole entire before movie. she before he came on with because she, I knew that she knew. <laughs> And I'm sitting there, I, I didn't even want to say nothing smart. You have to convince because, him that listen, it's just TV. I said, you have to do when she said it, I said, I'm not even going to say no. Did I say no, I'm not? You did say no, you're I not. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> you yeah. judge him. <laughs> you just an old movie. I said, ain't no way. <laughs> Why? I wish my woman would keep letting somebody come around when I'm not home. If I tell you he not to step foot in here and then I come and he been here. Who does that? So I just, I felt like... It was like, just TV. No. You ain't going to be loving if I'm telling you. You got a man, stranger. I just, uh, I just felt like I can't <laughs> even entertain TV no more. I he can't. I'm, I'm cool. He just reading his books and, I'm just, and I'm, drinking Tai Chi. Yeah, I'm in a place to where, because I feel people are out of, like, people think like that. <laughs> and that's strange. That's strange. Um, I just don't want you to ever um, not be understanding. I try not to be. I try not to be. I definitely feel Because that there are some of us the, who are still yeah, in our diseases. Yes. You gotta get it. You gotta get it for your disorder because you can wake Stop. up in a box. <laughs> you can, you can, like, and, and you never got a chance to put your disorders to the side and get your life together. Because you let your disorders control your life. I'm going to hurt you. They ain't disorders. <laughs> you call them what you, you want. You said mental disorders. Listen. Mental disease. I said it was mental health. So, oh, oh, it's, it's, it's sounds rough when you say you got disorder. Listen, call it what you want. Okay. I'm transparent about mine. Oh, yeah, I love that. I learned to be. I love that. That made it better for me. I'm Bring you in it and that made it better for me. Because I know I got PTSD. So, I, I know that. So that's why I am on a different level. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't got time for the chatter. Um, but yeah, it's all good. I, I love you. And Thank you. You know, we do what we do. We um, do. It's authentic. So anyone that can be a fly on this wall, just put wear some goggles. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, man. It's, 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 uh, Cool. We never want to put ourselves above anybody because we've been through some mess. Yeah, 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 man. But we survived. That's why I tell my, my people in the eyes, listen, I know they be looking like, yo, what? <laughs> oh, listen, man. <laughs> I can see. But I'm grateful to sit here today and again, just want everyone to be at this moment. Yes. At this very moment of peace and love, understanding. Right. And of forgiveness. So good. I'm grateful. If it's causing you not to sleep, it's disturbing your peace. That's it. So we do thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you. You know, we uh, appreciate y'all. That it, Miss Mosley. That's it. That's um, it. I look forward to um, receiving feedback, of course, listening. Um, this is literally like episode... I don't even know. So um, we've given our opinions. Um, we've had others come in um, and offer their love stories, um, offer their two cents about what makes their relationships work. Of course, um, if you want to come in, sit in, and just be part of our podcast and share your love story or share what works for you and what doesn't work for you, um, we love to have you. Um, we live life, and we live life abundantly, and we live life on purpose. So um, if you want to do the same, we're here for you. Yeah. So we thank you. We thank you. Um, as I said in the beginning, it's been a minute since I've been in the room. Um, yes. Brent um, has had a couple special guests, um, a couple co-hosts, yeah. um, guest hosts coming in. Yeah. So um, I'm grateful, though, because I learned a little bit from every individual that comes into the room. Yes. I'm grateful I'm um, to share my home with you and to share my husband with you, to yes. share the bishop with you. So I, I do learn a lot, um, whether it's uh, political science that people are discussing um, whether it's regarding mental health um, and how to obtain help, um, even if it's Jesus, that's why it's I too. Diseases. Oh, diseases! I thought you said Jesus. Too. <laughs> Whatever it may be, um, we are open um, and willing to receive what you have to offer. So I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for those who have been here and for those who are um, who are to come. So yes, thank you. Who y'all got? We out. Peace.